welcome to FIFA Save My Life. Merry Christmas. Uh, we are very nearly at Christmas. Father Christmas coming tonight. Yes, he is. He's coming down my chimney. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, welcome to FIFA Save My Life on Christmas Eve, the eve of Christmas. Uh, we are here. It's actually sunny outside. It feels very un-Christmassy, but it is cold, very cold uh, here in the UK. So, what am I doing today? Well, I'm going to do a video on how to get better at FIFA. At, uh, I did a 24-hour stream, as you know, uh, a couple of days ago, finished. Massively in, uh, brilliant. Absolutely loved it. It was absolutely girtlash, as we say here in Bristol. Uh, I met a lot of very nice people. We got a lot of new subscribers who came along and... Uh, was very interesting to chat to and told me lots of different things that they wanted to see on the channel. Uh, things that uh, I met people who had been sort of commenting on the videos for a while and uh, now I got to talk to them. Uh, it was really nice to sort of have a chat to them and find out what they liked and it was very enlightening. Uh, and one person did it right at the end say uh, they love the tactics videos at which do very well, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, they wanted me to do a how to get better at FIFA because obviously I've only been playing FIFA two years and uh, yeah, I obviously started the channel uh, FIFA Saved My Life two years ago due to the, the depression I had. And part of what made me do it was the I enjoyed it, I liked the tactics, I liked the, the different parts of it and my aim was to get better. Uh, you know, I set myself goals and, and wanted to get better. So. Uh, I am going to do a how to get better at FIFA video. Now again, this isn't aimed at the like top players or anything like that. I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs. Uh, I'm going to teach people who want to get better at FIFA and are in that middle or low bracket who want to move up an echelon and, and sort of just enjoy themselves a bit more. Uh, I'm going to give you some hints and tips and uh, some some wise words from an old man here at Christmas. At, uh, that uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, just helps you. Uh, uh, before I do this, guys, make sure you hit a like and a subscribe. That uh, would mean an awful lot to me, but I also give 50% of my profits to charity. I give them to mine, the charity, as you'll see up there in the uh, left-hand corner. Uh, so, yeah, uh, give, uh, give give us a like, give us a subscribe, uh, join the family. That would be great. Uh, and again, obviously, if you are looking for uh, cheap coins, uh, we uh, are partnered now with u 7 Buy. Uh, that is you seven by and uh, the link is down below you go on there they guarantee safe coins and uh, if you use the discount code save that is s-a-v-e as in fifa save my life uh, then uh, you can get another five percent off on top so there you go guys that is a decent offer if i had one instead of getting loads of packs you could get uh, uh, just coins for what player you want to buy uh, there you go guys right let's get on with it so I've broke this up into four different places and I'm gonna look behind me because I've got it written on my wall uh, <laughs> do excuse me uh, so four different things so the first one uh, is tactics uh, so tactics is the first one I do lots of videos on them uh, I love the tactics. I love playing around with the tactics. I like uh, making, you know, sort of having, I have hundreds of games. I lose lots of games in the process of trying to find the best tactics. I'm not worried about how many games I've won and how many games I've lost. The only time I really worry about that is weekend league. Uh, but the only, uh, during rivals and that, I use them as practice basically. And I, I use them to find out the best one. And when I find something I really like or I find is quite meta uh, and uh, doing well for me I obviously do a video on it and uh, show you uh, show you what it does well for me and then you can take it on or not one thing I would say about tactics is make sure you have at least three different tactics uh, maybe two of them the same but maybe a defensive and attacking version of it and then one that is probably all-out attack uh, where you are, you know, you may be down a goal or two and you really want to go for it and you know it is a mega attacking. Uh, you're going to lose, so either go out in a blaze of glory or get the game back. Yesterday I was playing a game, I was 4-0 down against an absolute wonder team. I did the video for... Um, uh, Victor and I, it was an absolute wonder team and I was like oh for God's sake this is supposed to be the video for the uh, the, the, the the card and I'm 4-0 down 
and I came back to four all uh, and uh, won in, on penalties. So it's one of those where you just don't know, guys. Uh, you just don't know, and, and you've got to have that in your armory. So I've got lots of videos on this channel for s sort of uh, tactics. I use all of them. Uh, as you'll see uh, so again obviously you have like your tactics this is I don't think this is my account this is one that I've been using for no okay this is the one I've been using uh, so I've got 442 I've been using different 442 so you've got 442 normal uh, I've got 442 defensive which is one I go into pretty much straight away at, uh, so I play that one straight away and that's my starting formation if you like so I change from the, the formation you see did just a minute ago to 442 second version and play the game and if I'm winning just carry on uh, if I'm losing uh, I might change to 442 which is a bit more attacking moves people up at uh, 41212 is my ultra attacking uh, formation it is really attacking guys uh, I've done videos on it it is very attacking if uh, for me and I, I love 451 uh, four, uh, it gives me a completely different outlet if I want to use my wingers if I want to cut in if I kind of want a, a flying V uh, attack and they're playing quite narrow I change to 451 so what I would say about tactics is make sure you have your change in tactics Make sure you know them and stick by them, guys. Don't go, oh, I've, I've had people who've tried the tactics and come back to me and go, oh, it doesn't work for me. Uh, how many games? Oh, I had two games and I lost both of them. Well, you, you're not going to win your first two games. You've got to win. You've got to kind of get used to it. You've got to know where the player's going to pass, uh, where the player's going to be. Uh, and again, that comes in with the players that you're picking. Do you know where that you know are they going to run i've got now jal, uh, jal victor in my team for the moment um because he, he matches really nicely i love a five star foot um, guy but he's got medium medium i'm having to get used to the fact that he's not in the box straight away where ben yedder is but jal victor isn't jal victor is coming from deep so i'm having to adjust to that and i'm not just going oh he's rubbish oh, no, you know he's not working uh, you've got to kind of give it a go and and get used to it so you've got to be patient and persevere with the tactics and then when you find tactics that you're 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 okay with and you win more than you lose then keep them uh, now there will be patch updates and watch for patch updates and watch for what people like myself and other people say and tweak the tactics that you've got you don't have to change to those tactics you just have to take the essence of the tactic so if they're saying long ball is now meta and you're not using long ball change the long ball uh, and, and give it a go and see if that helps in the formations that you're used to but that's what i would say there's plenty of formations on this channel uh, again if you're looking to start from scratch maybe pick one or two and give them a go ones that suit you but it is down to your personal playing preferences how you play but also how you enjoy playing uh, you know are you an, an attacking person or do you like to park the bus and and, and look for the break uh, are you 20 percent you know sort of possession guy uh, or are you the 80 percent possession guy are you 50 50 where it's you know it's a game of basketball and it's back and forth that's up to you but i would definitely get the tactics sorted and practice with them that's my first tip that's the first one out the way second of all instructions guys they go with tactics go into your instructions uh, so again obviously for this one say for instance there's my tactics make sure your instructions for your tactics are right and also that they coincide with your other tactics so like i said i love long ball i love the long ball at the moment i find it's very meta it helps people like uh, ben yedder especially it overall it, it kind of pushes it even with the instructions it helps push them to the boundaries i love the through ball the through ball is very very much uh, a, 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 an overpowered thing this year at uh, long ball helps with that so uh, i always have long ball in all my uh, sort of formations and that but again it's what you're you know i've seen people with massively light, high depth uh, massively low depth uh, it's kind of what you're comfortable with and again some of it is patience in the fact that you have to try different formations you have to try different uh, and tweak these until you feel comfortable you know i've seen a lot of people with one one on these because they don't want to get broken i actually quite like having people up there because i score quite a few headers from corners so i actually want people in the box 
Uh, not enough to kind of stick everybody in the box, but enough that I will risk a counter attack, but at the same time, I'll make sure that uh, I've got an availability to, to knock the ball in. Uh, instructions on your players is more important. That overrules the tactics instructions uh, by a long way. So you've got to make sure that they are correct. So you've got Ben Yedder there, for uh, for instance. He's on stay central, get him behind and stay forward. I, I you know, this is a... Def a defensive attacking formation really you've got Bamber, Garincha, Ben Yedder and Jal Victor are your attackers so you've got four going forwards and then you've got you know your, your six at the back really uh, and Hakura is, at, uh, is basically a kind of in between he stays in midfield but he also can break uh, from you know thing as you can see there he's on balanced uh, so he can break I've thought about my tactics. I've got uh, Jal Victor is so far back most of the time. I've adopted that and I've made him a false nine. I, I've made sure I understand his shortcomings, which is medium, medium. And I love the fact that he's a false nine now because he will break into the box last. And with that five star weak foot, he's really good to sort of have come in. He's not slow. Uh, he's very good on the ball. He's got a bit of skill. Uh, he is a great foil. And I've adopted the change to my playing style because I've had to, because he's a different player. And I actually really like him. And he matches up with Grinch and, and, and Marquinhos really nicely. Uh, Marquinhos is on like stay back. You can see that. So you, you've kind of got to go have what you know and again this is watching videos like the ones I do and other people do and then picking the formation and picking the instructions that match your gameplay and it is you know don't copy mine identically and go it doesn't work for me well it, it, you know it might not work for you my my fashion choice wouldn't work for you or my you know uh, what I like my football team <laughs> would work for you and all the rest of it but the essence of what I'm doing is right it's just how does it work for you and adopt it and adapt it that's kind of the the the, the two a's there adopt and adapt that uh, so there you go uh, that is what i would suggest on that so make sure your instructions are right make sure your instructions are there and play lots of games and and tweak them until you are happy with the way your players are playing and you have multiple instructions for multiple uh, solutions uh, within the game so you're not stopping trying to change all that it's just a matter of up and down on your d-pad and you can you know change your tactics instantly within the game depending on how well you're doing the last and uh, the next one is uh, your team god yes this is important your team uh, so you've got your team uh, you've got to make sure it's the best one for you now I'm going to give you an example I have an amazing bench uh, not just made of wood or anything but it's an amazing bench my bench is probably better than my starting team uh, if you look at the players on my bench technically Alexandro is better than than him uh, uh, Sonny is definitely better than him uh, uh, Vardy is definitely better than Victor uh, in fact probably Gnabry is probably better than Awol Oh, uh, we've got you know sort of Aguero over there. We've got Depay. We've got Mark Lucas. Uh, we've got all sorts of players. My bench is better than what I've got starting, but what I've got starting works for my solution for my 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 formation, if you like. So it's about picking players that complement your tactics and complement your formation. Uh, there is some meta players out there as you can see i've got maldini at uh, maldini is amazing he's fast at uh, you know do not have defenders who overall don't have 85 uh, so you can you know this guy has 87 to start with plus he's got a plus five on there because obviously he's playing out of position so he's only got a plus five right. uh, but he, that means he's 93 space do not have anybody who's under 85 uh, uh, if you're adding a shadow on him again this guy's got 80 uh, so again obviously he's 90 overall uh, so again he, he's more than fast enough and we know he is uh, again the same with your right and left backs uh, make sure they are decent paced which is easy to get but that might mean that you're not playing your best players I probably have better centre backs in my entire squad I just don't, ha they're not as fast, they're not as good, uh, they're not as meta as what they are. 
and that's what you've got to pick guys is you've got to find the players again i absolutely love marquinhos at uh, his his position change he's probably been one of the best freeze cards uh, out there um because his his position change really suited him and it works at uh, his stand tackle is absolutely amazing his his pace is decent uh, his uh, uh, defensive awareness is really good uh, you know as a holding midfielder and look at his short passing long passing he is there you know if I get the ball win the ball back I know he's going to pick out Gorincha he's going to pick out Bamber he's going to pick out uh, uh, Ben Yedder and when we're talking about that long ball earlier on that's the kind of thing he 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 can you know sort of help activate and he will work on and that's you know I've got better holding midfielders technically I've got higher rated I've got you know technically better at tackling but he he ticks the boxes for everything that I need done uh, the same with I will uh, I could use two holdings but this guy can break from deep he can score he can dribble he can pass he can do all sorts of stuff so again he works really well for me uh, Bamber I hate Bamber uh, he he was really good a month or so ago when he got his player of the month and he, he fast went out of fashion with me but I've played 228 games with him because he's better to link with uh, ben Yedder and you know now I will but basically Ben Yedder and uh, he's been linking with Ben Yedder and I've been using him to be Ben Yedder and make sure get Ben Yedder on 10 because he's such an important player for me when you've got an important player like that you want the most out of him and to get him on 10 cam means he's maximum speed maximum shooting maximum everything I don't want him going down you know sort of I don't want him to be half a Ben Yedder I want him to be a full Ben Yedder because a full Ben Yedder is so dangerous and that's that's sometimes the sacrifice you've got to have because personally uh, Sonny is 10 times better than, than him but I can bring Sonny on for the for in the first 10 minutes if I really want to uh, I tend to bring Sonny on half time a lot uh, for Bamba but you know sometimes Bamba has great games uh, he is no slouch he's not a bad player uh, if you look at his stats he's not bad but I'm sacrificing an 89 Sonny who's much better for Bamba because I know overall the greater good is Ben Yedder is better uh, so Ben Yedder as 10 cam is better in that position for me and I will score more goals with Ben Yedder if he's on 10 cam and Bamba helps that happen so that's why he's there uh, again I'm, I'm trying out Jal Victor at the moment really like him he's five star five star he's scoring some goals for me as well uh, he feels really good uh, and again i like the brazilian i'm hoping they release a richarlison striker at some point uh, he would take his place then up there and i would have a richarlison striker i quite like the idea of having a bit of a brazilian over here and obviously the grinch are there as well uh, so get your team your squad of players ready have a really really good bench have people that you can don't have these bronze on there it doesn't work guys it's been proven not to work it doesn't matter uh, i've got a rating of 88 at the moment it won't it doesn't patch me up against 88s all the time or anything like that it is who you're playing against and it's how many games you won that's that's how the computer works it is and the fact that we've got similar teams um so don't worry about that just have the best subs on that you can use in a game and you can understand that they're going to come on and change the game so you don't want super slow strikers uh, and, and things like that you want someone who's going to come on for the last 20 minutes half an hour who's going to change the game someone like Sonny who's super fast someone like uh, uh, Jamie Vardy who's super fast uh, someone like uh, Halan super fast if I'm going to bring those three on I've got three really fast strikers that can basically finish the game off for me uh, so that is what we got so far. So we've got tactics, instructions, and team. Uh, and we've got to finish off with the system. You've got to have some systems, guys, uh, for your days. Now, whether this is on foot champs, uh, whether it's in rivals, uh, whether it's squad battles, have systems. And what I mean by systems is basically have your different ways of doing things. So with, I'll give you examples, with foot champs, don't I do uh, and I hate to say it because I run out of time because I usually manage a football team on Saturday but when I don't manage on Saturdays I'm able to play foot champs on Saturday and Sunday I don't play on Friday I worry about Fridays because I know a lot of the pros are playing Friday because they want top 100 
I'm not going to get top 100, so I don't worry about that. But I don't want to come up against a pro and get absolutely demolished. Uh, so Saturday, by Saturday, I kind of feel a lot of the pros have done. Uh, and uh, you're going to be left with everybody trying to do what you're doing. So I, I would recommend, if you can, at doing your like 15 games on Saturday and then 15 games on Friday, if you can. And do them in chunks of five. Uh, do them in chunks of five. So do the first five. Whether you're winning or not, walk away, go and make yourself a cup of coffee, go and have a drink, have a sit down, watch a, I don't know, an episode of Family Guy or something like that for half an hour. Just chill out and then come back to it. It's the same in work and all the rest of it. You're looking at your screen all the time. And uh, yeah, you, you, you literally, can, you, it, the studies are, if you walk away for a while, come back, you're refreshed, your eyes are refreshed and you're feeling refreshed. Uh, so it, don't do it all in one go. I've done it loads of times in one go and it, it's a real slog and it's really stressful and I hate it. Uh, so it, the, the ones I've enjoyed the most is where I've broken it up and I've been able to have my system and go, right, okay, I'm gonna do five now, I'm gonna do five in the middle of the day and then I'm gonna do five at the end of the day and that's 15 done today and then tomorrow I'll do exactly the same. Works a treat and you finish it eight o'clock in the evening and you're done. Uh, you are done, you walk away from it and go, right, okay, tomorrow's another day. And that is it. Uh, if you're losing and you're on a losing streak, don't think you're going to play through it. Uh, give it a break. No, go away God, for a bit. Please, uh, no. You know, it can be toxic on there. So go away from the game for a bit and have your break. That is that is tip number one at, uh, for taking breaks. Uh, avoid pro times, like I said. Uh, Fridays, especially 8 o'clock in the morning on Fridays, uh, all the pros pile on and play because this is their living, by the way. So they're 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 on there because they want to get top 100. It means a different, you know, means them making different videos. It means them uh, getting different awards. Uh, it's their sponsorship. It's their way of earning a living. So uh, uh, first thing in the morning, definitely avoid. Uh, and again, uh, things like Sunday evening as well, definitely avoid that as well because you get a lot of pros who will have two accounts uh, and they will do it on the Xbox maybe to start with, and then do it on the PlayStation. Uh, and if you're unfortunate to be on the other one, Sunday evening is when they'll do the other one. And so you will come up against a lot. I find uh, certainly between sort of nine and one in the morning, you come up against some really hard teams. And it's because people are just trying to sweat it out and get it. You don't get the rage quit. You get people who are trying equally as hard as you and, you know, sometimes better. So again, obviously, if you want to win more games, tactically pick your times to play FIFA. Don't don't avoid those times for a start. Uh, make sure, as I've said before, you've got your super subs. Uh, so again, uh, get your, your squad ready, get your super subs. But I think this year especially, super subs have been my my heaven. Uh, the amount of goals I've scored with Sonny coming off the bench since I've not been able to play him from the start. Uh, Halland is scoring massive amounts of goals for me off the bench. Uh, the guy is, uh, I've only got him like a week or so ago and he came off the bench every time and he scored 19 goals and 16 assists. He is such a strong player. Uh, I've got Lewandowski on there just for the flex to be fair, but he, he is. Uh, you know, Vardy, Son and Halland are my usual coming in. And again, I wish I, I could bring on Jao Felix, but Jao Felix is kind of an in-between. He's kind of, he should be a starter really. And then you can take him off and depending on how well he does. Uh, but I, these are faster, they're stronger and you've got that ability. And you know your player, if you know your players really well, you know who you're going to bring on and you know who's going to make a difference in the type of game that you're playing. So make sure whatever you have, you have your super subs ready. Uh, latency spikes. Uh, this is a big thing that I learned about about two weeks ago. Um, is latency spikes. So again, when you're going into a game, especially foot champs or you know, uh, you don't want lag. Lag is not your friend in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so you're going into the game, and you'll do this, and it'll search for opponent, and then it'll come up. I got latency spike of 12, 16. It's okay. That's that's okay. It's, it's down if you're in the red get out back out there's nothing wrong with backing out uh, if it's not right if the latency is up and down and up and down you know you're going to have a laggy game and that team might be used to having a laggy game because it's probably their them who's causing it if you like um, they might be in I don't know the Outer Hebrides somewhere or something like that they're used to it so they're going to be adapted to it you're not 
so it's like a real away game so use your common sense don't just go straight into the game have a look at your latency spike and see if if you've got decent solid connection between the two players if you have you're both on an even footing if you haven't chances are uh, if you've got decent internet then it's going to be them and back out and, and going for another game uh, and play on an even footing uh, that's the other one uh, and the main thing is guys enjoy uh, you know have have some drinks with you uh, again I put some music on I have a, a playlist that I do when I do weekend league or I have a playlist when I'm doing you know rivals like today I'm going to be doing like load of rivals games because obviously if you start playing weekend league games that uh, they take your rivals games away from you uh, and I always like to come in first place whichever way I want to go and then I can work on the division afterwards have a plan have your system guys have it written down I've got a big whiteboard over here now you might not want a big whiteboard on your own but you can get ones that just stick to your wall or anything like that and have your system for your days working you know so it's a, you know what you're going to be doing fifa wise use it as a plan always have your own goals guys always have your own goals uh, so where do i want to come in weekend league so i always look and go right i've got to come 11 you know, i've got to get 11 wins because then i don't have to qualify next week uh, and i get a pick i then get 14 because that's really the minimum i should be getting i then want to go you know 17 uh, because i want four pick, uh, four choices out of the picks even though they'll all be bad, I know, but you know, you want four pe uh, play, uh, pieces. Uh, and then you're going to go, right, okay, then I want to go up to 20 because that's where I've been before and I want to go further uh, and I want to get there regularly. And, and you have your plan. And if you don't do it this week, then what are you going to do better next week? And start planning for next week. What team? Start having a, a solid team. If you're going to add to it, like I've had a Grinch this week, uh, it's going to improve my team. But don't add people just for the sake of it or don't swap and change like i said get used to the players that you've got and get used to where they're running how they're running where they're going to run to i know everything about ben yedder and where he's going to be and that's why i score so many goals with the guy uh, because i know i've had him since almost day one i've gone for the two player upgrade pack, two hours and, uh, later he's been with me ever since and he literally is a player i know inside now and I've scored 507 goals in 581 games and 299 assists. So I know exactly where he is. And he is always going to be in my team. It's just who goes up front next to him and who's going to be you know, there. And, and, and I enjoy it. I love having someone like Maldini in the team. I love Alan Grincher. I remember Maldini well as a player when I was a kid. Uh, so for me, it's a little bit of nostalgia. I like that. You know, I'd like a, you know, a Samuetto. He's played for Everton. And stuff like that. I'd like a Samuetto up front and stuff like that. A, but you've got to work towards it. Uh, so that is my tips for how to get better at FIFA. So we're looking at tactics. We're looking at tactics, guys. Uh, we've got tactics. Told you have three different tactics. Make sure at least minimum. Make sure you have an attacking, normal, uh, defending, and then probably an ultra attacking because you want to try getting back into the game and they do work uh, from time to time and again obviously throw them a curveball uh, you've got your instructions make sure all of them have no like almost corresponding instructions they might be different uh, formations but corresponding instructions so again you get used to the gameplay you get used to it, it it's not a big change to change to 41212 uh, from 442 uh, the, the instructions are similar the players are going to act the same it's just they're in a different place and you just get used to that but again you're, you're you're able to control them better because you know where they're going to run and how they're going to run you got your team go out there and get the best team that doesn't mean go out and spend millions of pounds on fifa points i see people with great teams and i destroy them uh, absolutely destroy them because they've gone out pay to win and they have no way of playing uh, they haven't earned the players they haven't worked hard to get the players and they don't know their players they've just got good players that carry them sometimes uh, but they haven't got players that they almost adopt and love i love ben yedder uh, you know i've worked hard for him i got him uh, and i know exactly how well he works and he won't you know, it doesn't matter if I get a, a 95 rated player, unless it's Ben Yedder again, I'm not replacing him. He is staying there until the end. I, that That's a solid. It's just who goes around him and, and so on and so forth. But yeah, you know, make sure you get that at uh, your team and, and, you know, have your perfect team. And again, obviously now you've got your system as well. So again, obviously make sure you know during the day how many games you're going to play, how you're going to play them, how you're going to break them up. Uh, 
what it makes sure you get yourself some drinks some chocolate or whatever around your bag of crisps have a snack with you so you're comfortable stick on some tunes uh, just sort of kick back uh, and you know avoid pro time so you're not getting destroyed uh, take breaks on a regular basis so you feel fresh don't worry about the toxic celebrations laugh that uh, i i got a i haven't got it here now i've got it in the wash but i usually have a flannel or a towel and i what I, I wipe my hands make sure that they are dry because sometimes you, especially if you're up against it your hands get sweaty because it's you know it's 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 pressure and then obviously my controller gets sweaty as well so i wash my thing i'm not watching the screen when he's doing this stupid celebration i'm i'm wiping down i'm ready to go for the kickoff so i've not looked i've not got worried about the toxicity of it or anything like that i'm just smashing ready for the next one uh, and uh, yeah like I said make sure you yeah, look at little things like latency spikes they make a big difference for me I make sure that my most of my games aren't uh, laggy as hell and uh, that is it guys that is how to do it and like I said overall just enjoy it uh, enjoy it so like I said at the very beginning this is something all young FIFA players are going to want to get their hands on these instructions your tactics your instruction your team and your system that spells something doesn't it I'm not doing another video. That's yeah, that's how to win more games on FIFA, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. Uh, and as always, if you can't, find someone who can. But Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.